morning everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. This is your Excel Guru today with a new formula called conditional formatting. It's not a formula, however, it's more of a feature. So it's something that will help you in differentiating uh, in color in differentiating and color coding values and texts based on whatever your criteria are. Alright. So I did some formatting just in front of you. Uh, what I'm going to teach you is today that this formula can help you in uh, giving a color red to these values if they are less than a specific number greater than 75 they, they will be colored with green color see for example now over here you see this is the month or this is the target this is the achieved uh, target and say for a store which is selling LCDs I I'm gonna buy one now what you want to see is ki just just by looking at it we should be able to know ki, uh, these were the months wherein the target was not met miserably less than 50 so let's code them with red color all right and then the second condition would be that the targets were uh, the months wherein the target was met to some extent uh, which was say greater than 75 so those should be coded with green and there's uh, there's another condition wherein the target was uh, met to some extent very very low extent which was say between 15 1 to 59 and we'll code them yellow all right so these are the conditions we'll be working upon so what we are going to do is we uh, if you want to uh, do this we it's called conditional formatting all right and we need to do it by first selecting the range this is the range we have selected now we go to home tab now we go to conditional formatting and then we go to highlight cell rules all right so highlight cell rules our first condition that we want to play with is less than 50 should be colored with red so we'll click on less than we here we uh, excel automatically takes certain values over here however the value that we want to put in is a custom value which is 50 and fill with red color here it's a, it's a drop down menu you can just scroll through it choose the first three options or you can go to custom format and choose a color of your own choice so this is it I pressed OK and voila <coughs> excuse me maybe I'm smoking too much so all the values which were less than 50 are now highlighted in red see so you can simply tell that April May June July were the months which were very very bad along with November now we go to 75 greater than 75 so we'll highlight it again now speak along highlight the range click on home go to conditional formatting highlight cell rules greater than rule and greater than rule we input the value 75 what color are we looking at we are looking at green color all right so here it is see uh, 81 and 90 are already in green why is 75 not in green because we chose greater than 75 that's the reason why now our last uh, range of this formula is between 51 to 59 we have to code it with yellow so again uh, select the range click on home conditional formatting highlight cell rules between 51 to 59 and what color are we looking at yellow all right yellow see this is what Excel can do for you isn't it great so I'll be covering the other formulas also over here now is equal to is very simple simply means any text any cell that would be having the value that you input would you will be able to give them a specific color a text that contains yes this is something I'll cover right away say if you want to say we want to uh, cover a text which for March okay so let's just highlight March so we'll select this range conditional formatting highlight cell rules text that contains and we'll type in March M A R C H and what color do we want let's have red color and I believe I have typed in complete March so this is it see March got highlighted 
the other conditional formats I'll be teaching in my next sessions this is this would be a comprehensive session there would be multiple class on this so today is what conditional formatting highlight cell rules and a date occurring is also simply like between duplicate values would uh, would color duplicate values and this sheet that you're looking at is available on my website www.excelmadeeasy.weebly.com here's the hyperlink also and you can go go there and download this workbook for free so that you can practice follow along or just keep this file for reference with you it's pretty handy and yes the video you are looking at is available on my youtube channel this is my youtube channel you can go over here and look at my videos thank you so much for your support all my videos are available over here and you can subscribe over here click on subscribe sign in or sign up so that whenever there is a new video posted which I post almost every day uh, so that you'll be aware and yes if you like the video do click on like over here or do also yes we have a subscriber also thank you so much subscriber miss Neetu 1985 and you can also also add a comment all right now this was my channel and also this is my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com uh, you can go over here and download the training files from this page so that you can practice along later and this is my playlist you can access the complete playlist from here these are my social networking sites links if you like the video do tweet us do share us do Facebook us and if you think what I'm doing right is right then do help me in spreading the word that knowledge is available on this website do you think that is right if right then do go ahead and click on this like link of Facebook let me help uh, let me help other people also by making them aware well this is your Axel Guru then Signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day. Happy Excel learning.